Hey, I'm Nick Del Sano, and thanks to Mosh, we're kicking off the convo about men's health by taking you through a day in my life. Just getting ready for another day's work, just getting lunch organised for the family before I duck off. That's for you. Uh, just making a one ham salad sandwich and one salami salad sandwich. That's my usual go-to. One of the things I do love about women's football is the passion that, that our football club has for it, but also particularly the 30 girls that are at university throughout the day or have jobs or a combination of both. Um, but then training after hours, they, you know, their desire to come to the footy club, have a big smile on their face and try and get better at footy for themselves and also as a team is, is really exciting. We want to be brave. Doesn't mean we're kamikaze and throwing everything out the window, but we're going to show and we're going to be brave and braver than we were on the weekend. We're not going away from this. If you can look us in the eye post and say, I did what I thought was the best option, it was brave, it didn't come off, we live with that. Be ruthless, be brave and be desperate and play football in that manner every single moment. When I think of Dell, I probably think knowledgeable. I feel like he's really been able to build those relationships with the girls on and off the field. So I think that brings a really good element and it probably makes us girls play for him a bit more. And we know he's a really proud Saints man um, as he used to play here, but I think that, yeah, that brings a different element. And we know how much time and effort he puts in with us girls and he probably goes over and beyond the hours that he's allocated to. So I couldn't be more grateful for what he's provided us and the program. And, you know, it's really exciting to see what it's going to look like moving forward. All right, let's get this going. All right, let's ramp it up a bit. Yeah, just checking, just checking. Let's go, T. Have you got a uh, hat on today or are you full contact? I love the coaching caper. I think like everybody, everybody has to balance out their life and has um, juggling challenges at times. And I'm really fortunate I've got a really supportive wife and three children that know that I love football and love my coaching role. So I have their blessing to be here a lot of the time, which I love. My coaching style would be firm but fair. Maybe that makes me sound like a parent as well because I think I've got a similar style. I've been here for quite a while, so my passion for the footy club, my passion to be a part of a group, playing group, and also staff that are excited and, and love football. It makes my job and our job really easy when our players finish work, finish university, and walk into the footy club with a smile on their face, ready to get better. Keep working, keep working. Let's go, stand up. Good job. Too nimble for me. Now, have we got all the desired results we want? Not at this point, but our group is driven, motivated, doing whatever it takes to get better. And we're gonna have a period of time off now after having two seasons in one year, which has been a challenge, to let their bodies and their minds rest and then really looking forward to next season. Turnover! Run down from the high! You can't say that here. It still hurts.